Well, I hope you had a really good Easter holidays and the summer term at school has started well. Now, although Easter Sunday was three weeks ago now, the church celebrates Easter for quite a few weeks. We call it the Easter season and it lasts for 40 days all the way up to Ascension Day, which this year is on the 13th of May. So during this Easter season, we have some time to hear the stories of how Jesus appeared to his disciples in all sorts of unexpected ways and in unexpected places after he'd risen from the dead. And I want to tell you the story of one of those appearances, probably one of the most famous ones, which is known as the road to Emmaus. Now in this story, it says lots of times, talking and walking, walking and talking. So you might want to join in with me with some actions for those words. We can have walking and talking, talking and walking. So, talking and walking, walking and talking. The two men travelled from Jerusalem to Emmaus. It was a journey on foot, and because the two men were followers of Jesus, there was a lot to talk about. Like the rumour that some of his friends had seen him alive again. So, talking and walking, walking and talking, they made their way. Then a stranger joined them. I hear you talking, he said. I see you walking. You sound excited. What are you talking about? We're talking about Jesus, said one of the two men. And then, talking and walking, walking and talking, he explained. Jesus was a prophet sent from God. He did amazing things. Many of us thought that he was the special one God promised to save us from our enemies. But the religious leaders sentenced him to death. The Romans killed him on a cross and all of our hopes died with him. That was three days ago. But this morning, some of the women who knew him went to visit his tomb and his body wasn't there. Better still, an angel told them that Jesus wasn't dead anymore, that he was alive again. The stranger listened carefully. And then, talking and walking, walking and talking, he told the two men what he thought. You sound surprised, he said. Isn't that what the prophet said would happen to the special one? If this Jesus died and came to life again, then surely that shows that he is the special one that you've been waiting for. At last, talking and walking, walking and talking, they came to Emmaus. It's late, said the two men to the stranger. Why don't you stay here with us overnight? And so, talking and walking, walking and talking, they prepared a simple meal. Do you mind if I give thanks for the food? asked the stranger. Of course not, said the two men. So taking and breaking the bread, the stranger bowed his head and prayed. And that's when the two men knew. The stranger, the man on the road, the one they'd been talking and walking with all afternoon wasn't a stranger at all. 
It was Jesus, alive again. But before they could say a thing, Jesus disappeared. He simply wasn't there anymore. And they were left alone to wonder. We need to tell someone about this, they cried. So they hurried back to Jerusalem. Not talking, not walking, but running and jumping for joy. Here is the picture of the two men on their journey and the stranger who comes to walk with them. And only when they're back in their home and the stranger breaks bread, they realise that it was Jesus. Oh, well, I love that story. It's got so many surprises in it. It's really surprising that Jesus was walking with the disciples, but they didn't recognise him. It makes me wonder whether sometimes Jesus is walking alongside us and we don't recognise him either. Jesus promises that if we ask him to be with us, he will walk with us every day, everywhere we go. We'll never be alone. I wonder if you've asked Jesus to walk with you every day. We made, we made some pictures of this at church on Sunday. We imagined that Jesus was one of these people and we were the other one. And we thought about how special it is that Jesus promises to walk with us every single day. Well, the other thing that I love about this story is the way that the disciples have the chance to ask Jesus lots of questions as they tried to understand what had happened and how he was alive again. I wonder if you have any questions that you'd like to ask Jesus and I wonder what they are. Maybe you could ask your questions to Jesus in a quiet moment in a prayer. So I'm going to say a prayer now. And if you want to make it your prayer, you're welcome to say Amen at the end. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you love to walk with us every day so that we are never alone. Help us to know that you are with us and teach us more about walking with you and talking with you. Amen.